on Saturday evening. Naz, please. Good afternoon, Pep. The, uh, the busy period continues. You're heading down to, to Luton Town. How dangerous is this game, having seen what Luton nearly did to Arsenal and they drew with Liverpool? And what have you made of Luton in the Premier League? I do really well. Really, really well for the way they played. And uh, you said perfectly how top clubs and teams like Liverpool Arsenal struggle to win. And I think it will not be different for us, but uh, at the same time, ready to, to the challenge. So, for the situation and keep working. This is what you have to do. Rob Edwards, the, the Luton head coach, has called you the greatest manager on the, in the world. He's called your team the greatest team in the world. It's high praise, isn't it? And um, what have you made of what he's done with that club? Hopefully it doesn't make it weaker. Uh, thank you for the words. It means a lot for all the club. But uh, yeah, it's a football game. And, and uh, in that moment, we are not the best team in the world because we are not getting results. So we were. When we're in Europe, we'll see the world, we'll see in two weeks, three weeks, we are able to do it. But uh, at the end, that is not important. Important is come back for the, you know, to play our level that we had two weeks ago, except the game Aston Villa, that they were better than us and they deserve yes or yes to the victory for the way they played. Um, we we're not far away, so well, we're in good level. So come back there, good result that will help us. And next two games are so important before we go to Saudi Arabia to play the finals. Is it easy, Pep, to block out the outside noise with, you know, four games without a win in the, in the Premier League and people start talking about crisis? How easy is it for you and the squad just to block that out and just concentrate on getting back to winning ways? The, the intention is not to block anything of that. So when you are win you are winning games and a lot, you are the best team in the world, and when you are not winning, it's a crisis, but it's not neat to leave the situation that to the know it, we knew it. So, so it's always a bit exaggerated for one side and the other one. The important is to the face of reality. We are not used to don't win games or four games without winning, but we play against top, top, top teams because Chelsea, Liverpool, Tottenham and Aston Villa right now, they are in exceptional teams. Always difficult to stand for bridge. The other ones is two were tight games. Some of them we played really good. The other ones was not. So, yeah, it's what it is, and it's not the first time we have been in that position. It's not the first time in these ideas. Always in every season we had a period like we were not get results, so we had to try to finish as soon as possible, but it's happened. Face it, challenge them, so... So, I said, is that is the situation you have to do it? Okay, let's do it. Let's go for it. So, what, what we can do? It's going to happen. So, I don't know, hope so, but... I don't know. So, football and sport is full, full examples that the teams like People believe what you're going to do is, is it doesn't happen. A million examples of Premier Leagues and other sports and and just to how, how is this is a situation? Okay. Okay. So maybe the exception was in the past and that is maybe more the reality. So go to Luton, adapt for the pitch, for the way they play, for the style they play, they're really good because it's not just a team, it's a team that made the really, really good things and try to impose our game and, and break that dynamic. That the most important thing is break that dynamic. Over the years, you've been, you've been sometimes criticised for being too good, really, and making football a bit boring. For you as an individual, is there even a perverse sense of, I don't know, pleasure or gratification about being criticised because then you can prove people wrong? Yeah, it's part, but I didn't expect differently. Every season I expect that moment, honestly. So when I have 100 points or with the league, so 98 or 99 points, that is, I didn't expect it in the beginning of the season. So I didn't expect, you know, four games not losing, no winning. But I approach it like a, I had a sport. So people say, Aston Villa was, is a fantastic team. It can happen. I took a sport like that. So sometimes I don't see the, really bad things on us, you know, so I see the good things for the opponents as well. So, even the NBA teams, you know, I put many times examples, I win a lot of NBAs and after that, next season is not good. So, Aston Villa's already come here, like Newcastle was last season. He arrived, they arrived. They had the feeling they will stay. He's another contender. 
for maybe no, I don't know Premier League and we're going to be respectful of, of what Aston Villa but for Champions League fighting for everything it's another team and everything, every team every year will be quite quite uh, quite similar so the criticism is here or the it's normal I didn't expect differently honestly and we accept it okay let's try to make them wrong and, and try to, to come back to win games you, you said on Wednesday that your team is, is struggling a lot of people have said the reason for that is because Rodri's not wasn't playing and it's your midfield that's not right clearly Gundogan left at the end of last season you tried to get Declan Rice who obviously scored an important goal on Tuesday is it the midfield is or is that too simple no it's that really so important definitely and but uh, we'll be so simplistic to say just for one player we talk not much good about us I would say myself but it is really important and 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 I would say it's not just that. So the, there are many factors, but because there are games like even a moment I didn't play that. So not the season, but the previous season was was really good as well. So I think maybe we lack a little bit lack of consistency in our in our in our process. Maybe it happened especially the last the last game. So we didn't have the creativity, you know, to create. We didn't have during the game have the the the, the, the feeling oh we're going to create chances we're going oh we're going to create I didn't have that feeling last last game it's because Rod is not there but that terms I don't think so. Uh, hi Pep, um, Kevin De Bruyne's inclusion in the squad for the FIFA Club World Cup is he is it realistic? Do you expect him to be able to actually play in that competition, or is it more about getting him back involved with the squad and kind of where is his recovery right now? Still, is I think I started to run on the pitch, but I didn't he didn't train once with us. So and the World Cup is in uh, two three weeks, so I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit early, I would say, but I, I don't know. How important, though, for your hopes this season of possibly repeating what he did last year is his returning to fitness to, to help you out. We're talking there about midfield in particular. I mean, he is one of the best in the world when he's playing. Repeat last season, what does it mean? Yeah, repeats. Like how important for your chance of repeating repeating last season is repeating having Kevin in, in terms of results? Yeah. Repeat the treble. Well, why not? Yeah, yeah. You're still in the trophies, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is uh, uh, Kevin is so important. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not going to discover Kevin. So it's so important. But I'm fortunate to have a tough injury in the beginning, and it's three, four months, and he's recovered. So don't put impression on him. I want when he's be back, he will be back and open arms to to get him. So that's for sure. But always we are the the ability as a team, you know, to our problems that we had. The people I said to the team. So. Do you, and now we have the fresh the travel, but do you know how we struggle last season to be to do? We are eight or nine or ten points behind, our, or even more from Arsenal. So you know how we struggle, how we with all the problems, injuries, obviously we had. So it's normal. So and that's why we give credit to the travel because it was so really difficult. The people say, "Ah, it was so easy." You know when the people say, "Ah, Manchester City is easy win." You know it was yesterday around the corner, around the corner. People say. Do it now. Yeah, but the same team right now, we were before the Wolves game, one game away to be the best start ever in this club. There. This is. And in this international break, we were top of the league. So it's, yeah, yesterday. So not two seasons ago. And we face Chelsea, Liverpool, Tottenham, Aston Villa. So they are top, top teams. It can happen. So in the games, like we deserve, yes, yes, don't win is Aston Villa, for sure, 100%. I don't need time to reflect. In the post-match interview and the press conference, best team won. No, I don't need, oh, maybe I have to review the game, the feeling. And we have to do it all together. So Kevin is here. Yes, it's not okay. We cannot, you know, we are not here waiting. So what do you have to do? Like example for him. So Rod is not there. I have to find a way like, you know, when he's not there. So last season, you know, was almost all the time there. And it's not there. I have to find. I have to find a way, you know, to to try to survive. You said after the uh, after the match on Wednesday that you wanted to look at look back at it with a fresh pair of eyes and see how it played out. What 
what specifics have you have you looked at from Wednesday that you want to want to improve? The game. Yeah. For next. No, when I was in the bus, I started to watch Luton and and think about Luton. I didn't watch the game against Aston Villa not yet in Luton and the way they defend, how we had the tag, with the strength that they have, what they have to defend, which place I will have uh, to see tomorrow the injuries that are still with the condition of the players and, and that's all. So I'm, I'm not, in the good moments, I'm not, you know, thinking too much how good we are in the bad moments, on the difficult moments, on the moments that we don't get results and I'm thinking how everything is not good. So I'm even in that moment I'm normally I'm more positive. Mentally I'm so strong on that. And as a manager I need sometimes that. I need that challenge. I need it. Also it's good for I think yeah, I would say something. I think for everyone in the club is good living what we are living. I would say I think it's necessary to live that. We live for many, many times, for a long time, uh, how good we are. Like a cat, you know? Like <laughs> how good we are. And maybe we need it to say, guys, this is so business. It's terrible. It's terrible. But you believe in beautiful and you don't know why. Oh, my God, we are not able to win one game. And from nothing here. I said in the big moments, you know, Jack, you were here many years. Even the big moments, I was realizing that. So, but maybe for myself first, I need that challenge to prove myself again. I'm a good manager, you know, to leave the players, to help the players to overcome that situation. And the players for them is a good challenge to say, oh my God, Aston Villa was miles away better than all of us. And that is the only thing you put it in your right place. No my words, be careful guys, uh, to do it again, doesn't work. And say, wow, Aston Villa, or better, imagine the other ones. And even the club, all the organization said, we can be out the Champions the next season. They have to work hard. And I think we need it. After what happened in the last years, I think we need it. And as soon as possible, we'll realize we'll come out from here quicker. Otherwise, nothing ready to change. The club is here. So it's going really, really bad season. Next season, we'll be back. So that's for sure. But still, we are in December. <coughs> not even finished the first round, the first leg. Have a lot of games to play. Very... Champions League competition is there. FA Cup, we start to play at home against Farsfield. So many things, nice, exciting and beautiful things is ahead of us. So embrace them. We have to embrace it. So, and that is happening when you are here positive, said, okay, with a smile, said, okay, let's, let's for it. I think for the club, we need it. I need, weeks ago, a month ago, I said, I think the club needs shake, be shake, you know, to, and just the results, the bad results can help you to, to live that. No, no, it's not about complacency. It's not about that. Complacency is you arrive late in the training, you don't train good, you do one job, it's, it doesn't matter what happened, it doesn't affect. What happened. No, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking to just the bad results, put it and say how difficult, what would they have done and how difficult is what will be. Just the bad results help you to understand it. Not now then. No. No. Even for the media, even for the fans, I said, oh my God, they lost. Yeah. Yeah. Four games we are winning, we can be five and six and seven and eight can happen. And the fans realize and our people realize, oh, what well, they have done, this group of people, this group of guys have been chapeau. And even the media said, oh, they can lose. Yeah, of course. People say, nah, they can lose. You know? So all the people say, in October, November, I see they want to win. We just to discover which the next three guys. You know? Look. Look the team how reinforced year by year and more and more in terms of players and things and how? Because we make a standards that people want to wanna be there. And, and the same, I see the hungry in the opponents, you know, the winning, I, I see it. And to recover that, we have to lose. The problem is lose when lose competitions. This is the problem. The problem is the problem, problem. Next season will be bad. But when you lose games, it's necessary. It's necessary to leave that, to realize it's not my words can help. Not the big accomplishments, it's themselves on the pitch that say, oh my God, the opponents are much better than us. And after you make the step forward, it's the only way.
Swami Jones for the embargo, please, guys. Um, Pe Pepo, obviously against Villa, you elected to start with John Stones and in, Enrico in with uh, in midfield with no no Rodri there. Obviously, Calvin Phillips sort of overlooked again. Do you, do you sort of firmly expect he will leave when the transfer window opens? No, I don't know. I don't, talk. I don't know what's going to happen. I feel so sorry for my decisions for him. I said many times. So. He doesn't deserve for one second while doing, don't give him minutes. I'm so sorry. So, But about that, it's him, uh, Jauhen. Only I can say you're asking, asking a good behaviour, a good personality, a good character, thinking about the end. And this is a perfect example. And after that, I have to give you something. I didn't do that, so... It's just because I visualize some things, I visualize the teams, I visualize things that um, struggle a little bit to see him. That's all. But it's not for again, not very pleased, and I feel so so sorry for him. That I would not say that because at the end it's a business. I have to be professional. I, I act like a, with a good when I win, winning is a good decision, and when I win is a bad decision. But when one guy behave, eh, I don't care for the way he behaved with the maids and everyone. I care, so that's why I hopefully can turn around and I've said many times, I don't know if I'm generally, if he stays, I'm more than pleased because he trains really good and, and he's a lovely, lovely guy, lovely character. Is that the embargo for 10.30?